and you probably don't need to do it with color but it's always good to be safe than sorry because here's why the username can type their username and they can also type what message they want but they don't type their color manually they're gonna select it in a different way but you know it's better safe than sorry so now they can't type anything basically to hack our database now what we need to do is we need to take all of their information and insert it into the database so we basically want to insert it into in a new row so the first thing we need to do of course is build our query and what this query is going to do is it's going to well I'll show you guys it's very simple so this query equals insert into chat table and there are four different things that we want to insert into um, insert into this row the first thing is actually posted on posted on username message and color so whenever the user makes a new message we want to store four pieces of information in our database when did they post that message who posted it what did they say and what is the color of their text so now what we need to do is pretty much just write the uh, MySQL let me show you guys alright so for the posted on date what we can do is we can just pass in now now what this is is it's actually a MySQL function that it gets the current time so instead of you know calculating it in some special way all we have to pass in is now and it automatically gets the current time from your server and stores that as the posted on date very cool so the next thing we need to do is store their name which is of course this variable username so and make sure I get this right username and let's see we need to separate that alright so the posted on date is just the current time the username is their username that has been cleaned up to prevent against my SQL injection and now what we need to do is we need to store their message and also their color and now let's see we don't need this Let me just end my statement and oops alright let me make sure my statements good okay so we inserted four inserted is that even a word sounds weird we inserted four pieces of information whenever the user posts a new message the time that they posted it their username their message or the message itself and also the color actually let me do this it looks a little bit better so this is the query that we built in actually let me see some alright that's what I was missing so this is the query that we built and now of course we didn't execute this query yet we just built the query itself so now in order to run it result equals and we can actually steal this so this builds the query itself and this executes the query in other words it posts a new message or inserts a new message into the chat table and the next function that we have to do is now that we can post new messages we have to build a function that gets new messages so even though we can insert messages into the chat table the user can't read those messages because we didn't build any functionality for it so what the next function is going to do is it's going to retrieve new messages so that the user can actually read them on their screen so that's what we're going to be doing in the next video thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll i'll see you guys then